Who am I that you love me? I see you call me. You call me friend. It is true that you are man full of me. Are you call me? You call me friend. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. He calls me a friend. Who am I? Who am I? That you love me. And you call me your friend. It is true that you are my full of me. How you love me. It's amazing. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. He calls me a friend. Oh, I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. He calls me a friend. Lord Almighty. Lord of glory, you call me your friend. Lord Almighty, Lord of glory, you call me your friend. It's a mercy. Oh, I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. He calls me a friend. Who am I? Who am I that you love me? How you saved me. You brought me to your glory. It is true. It is true that you are mindful of me. How you love me. It's amazing. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. He calls me a friend. Lord Almighty. Lord Almighty. You call me a friend. Lord of glory, God of glory, you call me your friend. It's amazing. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God, you call me your friend. It's amazing. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. You call me a friend. How amazing. How excellent. How wonderful is your name in all the earth. How excellent is your name, O Lord. How excellent is your name, O Lord. How excellent is your name, in all the earth. How excellent is your name, O Lord. How excellent is your name, how excellent is your name, how excellent is your name. Oh Lord, how beautiful is your name, O oh Lord. How beautiful is your name, O oh Lord. How beautiful is your name, how beautiful is your name. How beautiful is your name, oh Lord, how 
beautiful is your name. How beautiful is your name. How beautiful is your name. Oh Lord. Oh Lord, my God. How excellent is your name. We know yet. How excellent is your name. How beautiful, how wonderful, how precious, how gracious in all the earth. How wonderful is your name, O oh Lord. O oh Lord, my God, how wonderful is your name in all the earth. How wonderful is your name. Throughout all generation, your name is God. You have revealed yourself in the time past. Forever you will continue to be the lamb upon the throne. Your kingdom shall always remain. There, are, there shall never be any other God like you. In all generation, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that indeed you alone are God. Take all the glory, take all the praise, take all the worship, adoration and honor forever, O oh Lord. Now where is set so? Forever, Lord, thou wilt be settled. Forever, O oh God, you have desired to have a relationship with your children. Forever, O oh God, your people have drifted away from you. And yet you still give it a chance for us to draw closer unto you. To draw closer unto you who have living waters. That can quench our hearts. Reveal yourself to us in your word. In Jesus name. Amen. Jesus the fountain of living water. Jesus the one that gives. Fountain of living waters. Can you turn your Bible with me into the book of Jeremiah? Prophet Jeremiah chapter number 2 verse number 13. Prophet Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 13. For my people have committed two evils, two sins. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters. So dig for themselves cisterns, broken cisterns that cannot hold water. Israel a slave, or is he homeborn servant? Why has he become a prey? My point is the verse number 13. My people have committed two evil. Any time that we drift away from God, any time that a church drifts away from God, these are the sin that the church Pastors and leaders are committing against God. They commit two sins. They reject the living waters. And they build for themselves broken systems that cannot hold water. Yesterday, there was a revelation that was given to a sister in one of our churches which is heaven seekers ministry. A sister had a revelation on Friday. And in this revelation, this is what the sister saw. I'm not going to give you the full details of the revelation. Those of you who are on WhatsApp, I will send you the details. It's both tree and English combined. In that revelation, a sister saw a spaceship, spaceship that it was descending. 
And that spaceship was so decorated and designed, so beautifully fashioned. And um, it was so shining and bright. And um, the spaceship came, vanished from the earth, so she couldn't see it for some time. Of a sudden, she saw herself in Heaven Seekers Ministry in Kumasi. She found herself in the church promises, and of a sudden, she saw the spaceship. Two of them landed on the compound of the church premises. She looked up, and she was looking around the spaceship so beautifully and well dressed, beautiful, shining. And uh, she was totally confused. She saw a description written on the spaceship. And the handwriting was written in Hebrew language. Because it was in Hebrew language, she thought it was Arabic. So she was totally confused. And she found her sister standing there. And she asked her sister, do you know the description on that? The sister looked at it and the Lord opened her eye to see. Say, Jesus is coming now. Jesus is coming now. She said, Whoa, we are dead. The Lord is coming. The Lord is coming now. All of a sudden, she saw many people running from the city, coming into the church area. Why? Because there is a well of water, clean water, springing out. And she saw a man distributing the water to people to drink. And that man was clothed in the clerical like, like a priest. At the beginning, she thought that it was the general overseer, Pastor P.P. Crunchy. She said she looked in the likeness. So the man continued to distribute, and people were coming, coming for that clean water. And um, she entered into the church premises. Now she saw the pastor again in the church holding a very big bell and ringing the bell up and down, up and down, and warning people they shouldn't come out of the church premises. Why? He said, those who are in already, that spaceship is going to suck them. And those who will not enter into that spaceship when it leaves is forever. So won't come back again. So those who have an opportunity to come at the right time, they should remain in the room. And also there are militants, soldiers who are dressed with all kinds of ammunition at the back of the church building, waiting for those who be left behind and they will torture them. So the scene went on and the man of God was pacing up and down. And his wife asked him, Daddy, why don't you rest a bit? The man of God said, I can't rest. I can't rest. And so, I have made this announcement known unto the people. I can't rest. Then, the man who was distributing the water came to the sister and revealed himself like Jesus Christ. And he told her, that water there is the last water that he is giving to that particular ministry. The people that will run into that ministry will get that water. Ladies and gentlemen, that ministry stands for all holiness movement. All who heaven seekers people. And he said, in the previous churches, he mentioned some names of churches. Church of Pentecost, Church of Christ, Methodist Church, and many other churches the Lord mentioned. He said he dug some well for them, but they have allowed that well to dry up. There is no well for them any longer. But now their pastors are copying 
What are the children of Israel did in Jeremiah chapter number 2 verse 13? They have dried up their well. And now they want to dig well for their people. But that well cannot hold water. I'll tell you a story about a well that cannot hold water very soon. And the Lord said, this is the final well. I want you to take the water. Be very careful that you don't dry up this well. Don't abuse this well to be dry up. Some people, I'm going to bring many people to you for them to drink from this well. Give them as much as. And this spaceship is still standing here. It's not living yet. Until you have fetched the water to many people to drink. And those who will drink, I will put them here. And then the ship will go and it will never come back again. Are you getting the revelation now? So the sister, she entered into the spaceship. And all kinds of gifts, crowns, beautiful crowns. And the Lord said, these crowns belong to some people in this church. It's quite interesting revelation. Very deep revelation. In the now share of the summary I can give to you. The Lord said, I am the only one that can dig that well. I am the only one that can dig that well, the well that hold water. As a little boy, my father was, was average, had an average income. My father was a person who always wanted to see that things are in place. So in the village where we were, there was no problem with water, but my dad dug his own well. Two times that he dug the well. The people that were digging the well, they dug it on mountainside. So daddy wasted money for nothing. Two times, no water could come out of the well. There is nothing frustrating that you want to dig a well for water. And unfortunately, the well cannot hold water. My children have forsaken my ways. They have turned away from my counsel. They have rejected my purpose. Ladies and gentlemen, the Savior who died the well in the book of Jeremiah is the same Savior who is digging well today. In the book of John, the chapter number four, the book of John, chapter number four, Jesus Christ revealed how he desired to dig well for his children. Jesus used this phrase, living water, in two instances in the Bible. The first instance that he used the phrase, or chapter number four, uh, Jesus appeared to a woman on the well of Jacob, asked her to give her water to drink. As he sent the disciples to go and fetch food from the town. The Samaritan woman asked oh, Jesus, Why are you asking me what are you know? Number one, a Jewish man should not engage with a woman in the public. Talk less a gentle woman. So the woman put Jesus into question. Why you be Jewish asking me? Don't you know there is hatred between us, the Samaritans, and the you Jewish? Don't you know there is enmity between us? Why are you asking me of what, sir? How do you do that? Jesus ignored the woman question and went straight to the point. Say, woman, if you know the gift of God, and who is the one that asks you of this drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you a living word, sir. John chapter number 4, verse 10. Listen to this. How could Jesus say this thing to that woman? Woman, if you know the one that is... Talking to you, he is the one that can give you a living water, a fountain of water. But the woman said, 
<laughs> you are funny. <laughs> you don't have anything even to drag water from this well. Talk less to give me a living water. <laughs> what do you have? What do you have? Jesus said, He who that comes to me, I will never let him test. Anybody that comes to me, I have water to give the person. For I am the living water. Mm. I want you to understand. Jesus in the book of John, the chapter number 7, verse 37, which he quoted from Isaiah chapter 55. If anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. Who he would have believed in me? As the scripture has said, for his innermost being will flow rivers of living waters. In this he was speaking about the spirit whom those that will believe in him will be given unto. For the spirit has not yet been given because Jesus had not been crucified yet. Because Jesus had not been glorified. Because Jesus had not resurrected yet. Because Jesus had not ascended to heaven yet. Ladies and gentlemen, in this revelation, in this revelation, the Lord was talking about a living water. What does living water stands for? As we have read, Jesus, whenever he was talking about living water, he's talking about the Holy Spirit. Eternal influence of the Spirit that will always dwell in a man and bring conversion and sanctification unto the person that a person will receive the new nature of christ and will be able to satisfy the demand and the things that christ required of those who come after him ladies and gentlemen as many that draw closer to him they are baptized with water and they are baptized with the Holy Spirit. In Acts chapter 10, verse 44, 45, when Peter was invited into Colonial's house, the Gentiles, the first time receiving this living waters, the Bible said that while Peter was so ministering, the Holy Spirit fell on all who had the word. And the believers, the believer from among the circumcised who had come with Peter were amazed because the gift of the Holy Spirit was poured out even unto the Gentile. Whosoever believe in me, it does not matter. It does not matter where you come from. It does not matter where you were born. It does not matter your age. Whosoever believe that Jesus is Jehovah, who appear in the flesh. Jesus is God. Jesus is Yahweh, the Son of the living God, who have come in human form to destroy the works of the devil. Whosoever shall run unto him, he will get the living water. Ladies and gentlemen, when we come to Jesus, he gives us living waters. Why is this living water so important? It's very, very important. If you have never lived in the drought land before, you will never understand the purpose and the meaning of water. If you have never lived in the desert area, you will never understand and appreciate how important water is. Very, very essential. And the last place, I am afraid for you to go. It's hellfire. There is no water. Anything that called the existence of man. Air, water, food, clothing, shelter. You can't find them in hellfire. So there is no water there. There is no air there. There is no cloth there. And there is no resting place for your soul. 
So those who come to the Lord, he gives them living waters. Seal them with the Holy Spirit. Seal them. Apostle Paul said in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3 and 13 and 14, in him, you also, when you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation and believe in him, were sealed with the promise of the Holy Spirit. Who is the guarantee of our inheritance until we acquire the possession of it to the praise of the living God? Ladies and gentlemen, are you in a place where the living waters are? Jesus is crying. He said, my church, my church have drifting away from my concept. My church have drifting away from my principles. My church have drifting away from my teachings. The old time religion, holiness, righteousness, and truth which is the cyst in the hold water that satisfy the soul of a person that heals sickness that that drive away demons drive away drought in my children quench their soul right from the beginning of creation we identify the first place that we identify the Holy Spirit was not in man. The first place we identify the Holy Spirit was not in the air. The first place we identify the Holy Spirit is Genesis chapter 1 verse 2. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over all the surface of the deep and the Spirit of God was hovering around the waters. Why was he hovering around the waters? Because he is the living water that was coming to dwell in man. That is his place. That is his domain. That is why he uses to change human destiny. He is the living water. And when he comes into us, he washes, he cleanses, and quenches us. And therefore, Apostle Paul said in Hebrews chapter number 10, verse 22, let us draw near to God with a sincere heart and with a full assurance that the faith brings, having our hearts sprinkling to cleanse us from guilty conscience and having our body washed with pure water. He uses water, the Holy Spirit, to change us. Cleansing our conscience with water of the Word of God and he washes our body with water. Water is a cleansing agent. Water is a cleansing agent. Water is purification agent. And therefore, absence of water, there is no peace in the hearts of man. Another sign that water is, is it brings joy. Isaiah said chapter 12, Isaiah chapter 12, verse 3, with joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. With joy you will draw water from salvation, wells of salvation. Salvation is deliverance from the power of darkness, influences, conspiracy of the world, of sin and Satan. Becoming one with him. Separation from that wineness, separation from that communion, separation from that fellowship is what we call salvation. And it is a well of water that washes, that cleanses, that quenches our thirst. Now, when we come before God, we indeed know that there is a God. Ladies and gentlemen, in Isaiah chapter number 43, the Lord said, When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. Why? I identify myself. Here in Isaiah, waters are rough life. Waters are rough life. I'll be with you, and when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. Why? Because we pass through river, it washes us. The born again pass it through river, it washes us. It's a discipline. The Holy Spirit that is changing us can become water that we will pass through. So, born again believer, when you are going to rivers of waters, you are not going to be drawn. Why? It is going to change you. 
When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flame will not set you ablaze. Why? Because the Holy Spirit, another, another symbol of the Holy Spirit is fire. So he cleanses us with a flame of fire. Washes and cleanses us by the word of God. Come on to me and let me refine you. Come on to me and let me change you. Are you still in the church? Are you still in the church? That having God is what I'm talking about. Are you in the church that have no access to this word, sir? The Lord said in Isaiah chapter 49, verse 10, they will neither hunger nor test. Now with the desert heat on the sun beat down on them. Who, he who has compassion on them will guide them and lead them beside springs of waters. The Lord said, oh, my children, my children, ladies and gentlemen, whenever we are talking about Israelites, we are talking about Christians. The Lord took them. And everything that the nation Israel went through, Christians are going through. Satan hate them. In those days, it was physical hatred. All the nation around them were a nation that was being ruled by Satan. And the children of Israel were hated. But the Lord said, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Because I will go beside you as a spring of water. The Holy Spirit guides us every day. Ladies and gentlemen, Isaiah chapter 58, verse 11. The Lord will guide you always through what? He will satisfy your needs in sand, crotch, land, and will strengthen your frame. You will be like a well-watered ground, like a spring whose water never fails. Those who are working with the Holy Spirit. Are you in the church? Are you in the church? Now you are being watered. You are being refreshed. You are growing every day. You are smelling good. You, 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 I mean, you are always fresh. You, 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 some people think that you are supposed to grow old, but you look always young. That is when the Holy Spirit is dwelling on you. That is when the Holy Spirit dwelling on you. Your age and your look, they don't meet. Beloved, I am talking about when the presence of the Holy Spirit dwells in you. In John chapter 3 verse 5, Jesus answered, Very verily I say unto you, No one can enter into the kingdom of God unless that one is born of water and of the Holy Spirit. Are you in the church that are not giving you water and the spirit teachings? The Lord said, I gave that water to Church of Pentecost, Church of Christ, Assemblies of God. They have dried up the water. They've driven the Holy Spirit out of their midst. They've driven him out. And they've invited Satan. Ladies and gentlemen, you may not feel comfortable. But I don't want you to feel comfortable in your sin. If you are in such churches, I want you to go down on your knee this week and say, Lord, I need a living water. Jesus, like the woman, like the woman of the world, say, give me this water that I may not come here any longer. <laughs> I may not come here any longer. Do you know that David went close to the water side and picked some stones that he killed Goliath. David couldn't find his stones on the wilderness. I know that normally stones could be found on the desert, on the wilderness, because of the sand, a mountain top. Why on the riverside? Why? Bible said that David reached down from on a high and took hold of him. He drew me out of the deep waters. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a living God that takes care of us. And he will bring us satisfaction whenever we draw closer to that living water. In Psalm number one, the Bible says that a man that put his trust and confidence in God, he is planted on the riverside. Are you planted on the riverside? The church where you are, 
if that church is not teaching holiness righteousness and truth i am telling you you are not planted on the riverside and nothing that you do will prosper sickness and diseases shall be your friends troubles and anxiety shall be your companion i don't want to talk much this morning but i want to bring you the index of this revelation jesus is coming so I'm brother Emmanuel that the Lord has been taking this gentleman to heaven and hell, showing him many dreams and revelation. He said 2013, the Lord Jesus took him in heaven rim and showed him so many things. And the Lord said, between 2013 and 2019, the church will be taken out of this earth. Beloved, I want you to run unto God. I want you to run unto God. And as he is calling at those who are thirsty, come, 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 come and drink. Come and drink from the well that I have dug for my children. In Isaiah chapter 21 verse 6, he said unto me, it is done. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water without cost from the spring of the water of life the holy spirit is that water of life do you have him in your life do you have him in your church do you have him in your pursuits revelation chapter 22 verse 17 the spirit and the bride say come and let the one who hears say come let the one who is thirsty come and let the one who wishes to take the free gift of the water of life come in heaven the lord said i will give you water of life to drink he is sealing us with the holy spirit here on earth and when we get there the holy spirit is going to spread around everywhere to give us the living waters let me finish with this let me finish with this i am here to inform you my savior is coming my redeemer is coming revelation chapter 22 verse 1 and 2 then the angel showed me the river of water of life as clear as crystal flowing from the throne of god and of the lamb the holy spirit is that down the middle of the great street of the city on each side of the rivers to the trees of life bearing twelve crops of fruits yielding it fruit every month and the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nation in the throne room comes the holy spirit through jesus christ and through the father he is the living water that we are going to drink do you have him today he flourished the tree of life so that the tree of life can bear jesus is that tree of life the holy spirit gives him the refreshment he's the holy spirit that filled the lord apostle paul said in a uh 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 uh, uh, uh Acts chapter 10 how the Lord God anointed Jesus Christ going about doing good. And none of his word fell down. It was the Holy Spirit that anointed Jesus Christ in St. Luke Gospel, chapter number 4, the verse number 16. When he took the screw, he said, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because I've been anointed. Pastor, are you sure that you're anointed? Is your anointing well of sprinkled water? Or is coming from dirty water from gutter. Ezekiel chapter number 36, verse 25 and 26. I will sprinkle a clean water on you, and you'll be clean. I will cleanse you from all your impurities and from all your idols. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. Before the Holy Spirit comes and dwells in us, it does some kind of changes number one it cleanses our body cleanses our mind cleanses our conscience number two cleanses our heart and give us a new heart grant us a new mindset so that we can flourish in the hands of the lord ladies and gentlemen jesus is so shouting he is so shouting in john chapter number seven come 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 all who are thirsty and i will give you a drink i will give you water i will give you satisfaction i will wash you 
in the Ephesians 5, verse 25 to 27, Husband, love your wife just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her to make her holy, cleansing her by the washing with the water through the word, and to present her to himself, a radiant church without sin or wrinkle or any other blemish, but holy and blameless. Bring your heart before the Lord Jesus Christ. He will wash you and cleanse you. He will make you whole. Lift your voice and say, Jesus, you are the living water that can wash me that can cleanse me, that can make me whole. Lord, I am ready for this water. Wash me, cleanse me, purge me, deliver my soul from anything that doesn't glorify you. Set my heart ablaze on fire and let me live every day for you. Thank you because you love me in Jesus' name. I want to love what you love and hate what you hate. I want to walk with you every day of my life. If you have prayed that prayer, I want to assure you that my God have listened to that prayer. My Savior has listened to that prayer. That spaceship is still there at Heaven Seekers Headquarters. And those of us who are pursuing heaven, I promise you, I'm not prophesying, I promise you that the Lord is going to give us that water. Search for this water. Join me 24-7, that is what I do. I spring out that water. I'm one of the distributors of those waters here on Facebook. So join me 24-7. Come and drink good water. That will heal your sickness and set your soul free. God bless you. Amen. Father, I thank you for such a great opportunity that you reveal your heart to us and you grant us understanding to know your ways. I have declared your truth to your children. I've made them aware that there is only one place that they can get that living waters when they come back to the old ways and walk in your counsel and fulfill your purpose for their life. I've taught them somebody have prayed to come closer to you. I believe that you are going to give him that living water. Show him your ways. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen.